What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is a quick video uh, by your guy here, Rising Tech, real quick, of an FRP bypass on a Note 9. As you can see, it's an AT&T Note 9. Um, yes, so if my camera can pick it up. As you can see, guys, there, it's a Note 9 from AT&T. And I do a quick uh, FRP bypass by just flashing the um, combination firmware. So if you have your Z3 Xbox and if you have your Z3 Xbox, you want to pretty much, you select your model here as always, and you select your model and you go up to, um, I have the worst screen ever on my laptop, but you go to downloads and as you can see, you can Sorry about that, guys. You basically, select uh, any one of these combination files. Right now, because the Note 9 is still on a the, the one bootloader, so always make sure that your bootloader and your firmware match up with the bootloader number or baseband number, whichever you want to call it. But you want at least that number one there to match up with the current firmware. So it has to be the same or higher in order to work. You can't flash something like if, there was, if this was on two, you cannot flash a combination firmware using one. You have to have a two combination firmware. So basically that, right, that one right there has to be one and one on the phone and whatever you're flashing to the phone. So just keep that in mind. So anyways, flash any one of these combination firmwares. Um, I've already done the phone, but I'm sort of giving you the kind of quick rundown. Uh, I already just, I just got done with the phone, flashed the combination firmware, did what I had to do. But you uh, hit PDA, so yeah, as you can see, I already have all my files. You select the combination firmware, make sure your phone is in download mode by pressing volume down, power, and Bixby key. Press those three buttons. When you have the screen for the download mode, and I'll show you that real quick right now. Sorry about all this mess. But you press your uh, Bixby, your volume down, and your power. Okay. Now this phone, phone is still booting up, but I can do it real quick and show you guys. You will get this screen. I hear my daughter in the background talking. Okay, so you see this screen, you will get this screen right here, and you press volume up, and you should have this right here, this screen, downloading mode, and you should see where it says FRP lock. If it says on, then it means you have your FR, um, the FRP lock is on. I have just done this phone, so it says off. Okay, so then you Flash your combination from once you're in your screen, you go back over here and flash. So you go back over here and you flash your uh, combination firmware to the phone. And then once you're done doing that, what you do is you go back to model. Okay, this now, this is the disclaimer. Do, you do this at your own risk. Um, you go back up to N920p. This is the Note 5 version. So N920p, the Sprint version of the Note 5, you select it, you click on lock, and you click on reset FRP. Okay? Now it's going to tell you it's the incorrect model, this could damage your phone, yada, yada, yada. Okay? Like I said before, you do this at your own risk. I have done it, it worked for me, it worked great, I have done it plenty of times before. And it seems to always be working just fine. Will this get patched in the future? I don't know. But if it does, well, at least now you know this is one way of doing it. Um, flash, the, um, reset the FRP. Once you reset the FRP, you go into the phone and you give it a factory reset from the phone's settings. Do not do a hard reset. From the phone settings, you go into the settings, reset the phone, give it a factory reset. When the phone reboots, you then put it back into download mode. 
Go back to your model. Select N960. Sorry for a horrible video quality, guys. Sorry about that. I apologize. Um, you click flash. And you load up your, you know, corresponding firmware files. So you click on PDA, and PDA would be AP. You click on boot. Boot would be BL. You click on phone. Phone would be CP. You click on CSE, CSC. I usually use home and not the other one. They usually you you will see two files: CSE, OMC, OYN, or you'll see home CSE. I usually use home. And then user data if you want to. If, and sometimes user data is not there; it's not required. Um, and you flash, hit flash, and that will flash the stock firmware back to the phone, and your phone will then reboot, and you should be fine. So this is a quick video on how to do this process. Sorry about the horrible shakiness. Um, I'm recording this off my phone, and um, I will now continue with this phone's boot by pressing volume down, big speed, and power till the phone screen goes black. Let it go, release, and the phone will reboot and continue its booting process. This phone should be fine after this. Uh, FRP, as you guys, as I showed you in the downloading uh, screen, was off. So this phone is completely done. Have fun, guys. Happy flashing. See you later.